Hello everyone, I'm Steve Stoller, Plano's Media Relations Director, and this is Plano City News, your local only Plano newscast. This week we start with a successful hiring event for our Parks and Recreation Department held at the Plano Aquatic Center. 142 people were hired on site for an array of summer and part-time jobs, from day camp counselors and recreation aides to swimming teaching assistants and water safety instructors. Now we still have a big need for lifeguards. The department will train you as long as you're at least 16 years old and a good swimmer. Plano City Council members unanimously approved a long-awaited road project this week. The Shiloh Road expansion from Park Boulevard to 14th Street will add two lanes to the east side of the existing roadway. Northbound traffic will travel on those new lanes, while southbound traffic will use the two existing lanes. The project will add bike lanes to both sides of Shiloh, and two new bridges will replace the current culvert system. The price tag for the project, $13.8 million. Collin County bonds approved by voters in 2018 will pay for some of the construction. Registration opens Monday, March 21st for the annual Great American Cleanup. Join other Plano residents for some good clean fun from 8 to 11 a.m. on Saturday, April 23rd to clean up litter throughout our community in celebration of Earth Day. Participants may choose a park, trail, creek, or roadway from our list of predetermined sites. After the morning cleanups, we invite you to join us for an after party at Chase Oaks Church with food, music, and giveaways from city departments. Since 2015, Great American Cleanup participants collected more than 74,000 pounds of litter from Plano parks, creeks, and streets. And don't forget the city's inaugural Texas Forever Fest on March 26th at Haggard Park. We're billing it as a party as big as Texas, featuring Western entertainment, Texas favorite food, Lone Star State themed vendors, and some great live music performances by Roger Crager, the Tejas Brothers, Pat Green, and Texas Flood. Admission is free and the fun begins at 11 a.m. That does it for this week's edition of Plano City News. For more from our great city, head to social media. Check us out there and you can always go to our website, Plano.gov. We'll see you next week.